I'm back. In typical fashion, posting at 4 a.m. I started writing a little poem, blacked out, but in a different way. I just couldn't stop. Shocker. Couldn't stop once I started. But this is a healthy way. So I felt, man, I should, I should share this. I should post this. I put my heart in this. At first, I was just going to copy and paste it and post it, but I'm not ashamed. Some courage. I'm a little nervous. I haven't read it yet. Maybe some emotions will come out. I don't know. So I figured I'd do a video, show my face. I have nothing to be ashamed about. This poem is called Sober and October. So here we go. September 29th. A day where so much stuff got out of line. Everything blew up in my face. I went crazy and almost picked up another case. So October, I reflected what to do with my life. One day, I want to settle down and find a beautiful life. To have love and be loved must be an amazing experience, I'm sure. Something so beautiful and per pure. November 1st, I got my last chance. It was time for me to take a stance. It was all up to me and me alone. Had no one coming in on my phone. Lost and forgotten, I became. I accepted my past, my decisions, the repercussions. I'm the only one to blame. Making any amends might be an impossible task. Friends and family gave up on me as I wouldn't put down the flask. My first and only priority was drinking or anything that involved drinking. Whether it was 6 a.m. or 6 p.m., I didn't care. Man, what was I thinking? I lost everything and everyone. I thought for sure my life was done. Just wanted to leave the world and just die. No more staying up all night just to cry. Each attempt in ending my life was a fail. As I'd wake up, I just thought, well, here's another opportunity to drink. So, oh well. All the talk and hatred towards me is unreal, but well-deserved. Went to see my face back on the active inmates, got my reservation reserved. I still got more time to do, so that should be fun. Give the Dallas thought that they won. September 29, I will never forget that night. I made the decision to start a sober life in October. Sober in October. My faith kept me here. So many close calls and so much fear. I realized with this, de this decision, I have so much to gain. I can accomplish so much with a sober brain. I feel so much better and have so much joy. So positive and proud, this battle I will destroy. Most people will read this as a joke. <laughs> I know actions are the only way to get myself awoke. Though I believe people's perception of me will never change. All I care about is what I think of myself and how my life will rearrange. It's way too early but I feel I've done a 180 in a short amount of time. No longer being consistently stupid and committing crimes. So why break my silence and post on the thing that seems to always get me in trouble? Well, I'm trying to change a lot and burst my selfish bubble. Use any platform I can to help bring joy to the world. 
and a people and this beautiful place to always be grateful, thankful, and appreciate anything with so much grace. Life can always be worse no matter what you think. Life goes by too quick. I'm afraid to even blink. I wasted enough of my life so far. All I cared about was going to the bar. The pain, the hurt, the disappointment, the annoyance, the frustration, the stress I brought to people, and so much more. Even though I'm not free, I am actually free. My mind is right, I'm finally on the right path with a sober mind. That is the key. I know on this journey, good things will come. Different people, different places. New opportunities, no more wasted opportunities. New life, who knows where from. I'm so excited and optimistic about my future for the first time ever. I'm no longer worried about making such poor decisions and being oh so clever. If I can beat this demon, then I believe anyone can. That's why I'm sharing this part of my story to help any girl or man. We are all in this together, part of the winning team. Let's go. I feel like a miracle, just a wonderful dream. To be alive and doing so well came such a long way. So much more I could tell. This can be beat. This will be beat. I hope these demons can handle defeat. I'm getting my swagger back because my name is D-Hack. So hope I can help or inspire anyone along the way. Hate me or like me. I do love you all. And I wish you all a wonderful day. Thanks for watching. Feel free to like and share if you want. Peace.